This video is a faculty introduction to Axiom, our clinic management system that handles electronic health records for dental patients. Today we'll discuss patient referrals through Axiom. Our referral process includes five steps, intake, referral, scheduling, treatment, and completion of treatment. When you're ready to create your referral, make sure your patient is selected. Now go to your EHR selection, drop down in forms. To create the new referral, make sure your form tabs is open and select add record. Always select new classic form. From the drop down menu, we're going to go down and select referral request. Make sure that it says status new and you have the correct date. Hit OK. Now you've got your referral request form. So add to clinic. I'm going to select to window and you can add a provider name. and select OK. Make sure that's correct. OK. Add who the referral is coming from. So we'll say that it's coming from emergency. And we'll go ahead and add a provider name. Both of these are optional, the provider name and number. And select OK. Now you want to add your chief complaints and findings. Just enough to let the receiver know what they need to schedule. So I'll fill that out. Make sure your form is correct. And that's it. If you're a faculty member, you're not going to need to approve this. You're going to go straight to sending this form away. If you're a student, you're going to have to have this approved. So this would not be grayed out this would be um, available for a faculty member to approve by sliding their card as usual. Once you're finished with your form and everything's correct, now we're going to use our running man feature to actually send this form to someone. So we're going to select the running man and again add comments about this form. Um, anything that you want the receiver to know about. So now that the form is completed, we want to make sure to add who this message is going to or who we're actually sending this form to, which is going to essentially be the same as who the referral is going to listed here. So we're going to come down here to our message group, select our ellipses, determine who's actually going to receive this. In this case, we said it was going to be endo, so we'll add that. And that's all we have to do. We don't need to bother with user at this point. So we're going to select OK. Once we hit OK, an alert will be sent to a scheduler in the department for that person to open up and then reroute to the correct department. And from there, it'll be the scheduling process that takes place as usual. As a provider, it's important that I go ahead and complete a referral that has been sent to me through the referral form process. In order to do that, I will open up my test patient I'm going to go into my EHR and open up my forms. Once in forms, I'm going to look at my referral request. That means I'm going to actually open up that form. Once I've actually treated my patient, I'm going to click on my consultation report and select yes. And here, I'm just going to put the date that I saw the patient today. I'm going to say May 1st, 2019. Select OK. Now I'm going to actually hit my running man because I can say yes, I have actually seen this patient. Running man. I can add any comments that I need to make. And now from the status of having been scheduled, I'm going to act make sure that this is changed to completed referral. And now I'm going to select OK. And that essentially closes the loop from our referral. 